What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Fort Triumph, episode 10, with me, Gamer Noob. We are just about to pick up this uncommon chest for a plate armor. Oh my. Who needs more armor? Well, someone that gets hit a lot. But I really like, like, you guys having this. You know what? Here, you don't need the potion. You need the armor. Sure. Also, it's about to roll over a week, so I figured we should take out these trolls before they become stronger. So let's go ahead and jump on this one with a fight. Jump on in this one with a fight. I just ate a cliff bar. And it's very dry in my throat. <laughs> very dry in my throat indeed. So I'm trying to figure out. Alright, let's see what all we got over here. Is this it? Come here, spider. You suck. Well. I think these guys have stun protection too, and we need to stun them twice. Yep. Yep, they do. How does this work? Oh, just all activated enemies, so that means all enemies that are showing on the map. Gotcha. Just making sure that's how it worked. Mm -hmm. True to run up and yeet this man. First, though, give yourself another point. Because now I want you to run over here. And we're not done with you yet, so don't think that we are. Yeah, that's so beautiful. And then this lady can throw that at that spider. Well, you were supposed to throw that at that spider at least. Apparently you just suck. You have 2 HP? Okay. Well, if you have 2 HP, we'll walk over here and use Fire Blast then. See ya! That's a pretty good round one, I think. Yeah. I don't think that was bad at all. Oh. Yeah. Alright, let's end our lives. Yeah. Good night, troll. How dare you try to defeat me? Yeah. Also, other troll. Yeah. So I'm glad we took care of that before they got harder, because I remember trolls being a little bit obnoxious to deal with on the first map, but we probably are a lot stronger now too, so maybe they're not nearly as bad. Cage! Help, release me from this cage and I'll join you. Yeah. I'll take another person. Let's go take these bag of coins. Well, actually, he can take these bags of coins. And you can be the guy who walks around and snags things like this. And then go back to base. Yes, then you will go back to base. Speaking of base, what do we got? Stables. Number of steps is pretty good. Castle, party size, university. Upgrade the university. Upgrade the inventory slots. Which means... No, no, no. Now we have access to giving people... Potions! You can have this as well. Alright. <clears throat> Week 2, let's go. The heroes, blah blah blah. What you got for me, Mr. Question Marks, man? You find a goblin training dummy, it might be the militia's old one or a punching bag for overly energetic peasant. You may invest some steps to have a go at it. Yeah, give me XP. Plus 10 accuracy for the next battle, and I think we are going in. Battle! 
The party delves deep into the cemetery. Still think that a modicum of mana? Still think with a modicum of mana we could find Garbarak in a... Your last channeling has left Evan's people without their shelter. You may leave... Your next may leave them without people. Hey, my people, just a bunch of ungrateful sobs enamored with their tyrannical overlords. Weak, ungrateful sobs. Solaris highs heavy, sighs heavy-heartedly. I know we are beraving moral difficulties of late, but surely even in these trying times we must agree innocent villagers dying is some, something to be fought against. Krita stops abruptly as the sound of steel and leather is heard. Ambush! Numerous armed combatants emerge from the shadows. Oh no, we're being ambushed, and oh no, my mouth is still dry from that stupid cliff bar. Don't eat it before you record, boys. And the girls. There is Solaris and his companions. Prepare yourself, men. We shall bring justice to these wrongdoers. Brother Galeran. What brings you to this desolate place? The hunt for you, Solaris. And a bid to apprehend the, those assassins of Lord Lion's Mane that his soul may rest in peace for all time. Krita looks between Galel, Galilarn and Solaris. Wow, it's like we have two. Solaris recaptures Galilarn's focus. Galilarn. Twas not... We who slew the good lord. Lady Orlean was a, is the snake hiding in the meadow. Twas she who sent men to perform the dirty deed. The kingdom is beset by hordes of unliving, yet you busy yourself smearing your own liege. You must believe me before we come to blows, rather. I too was in disbelief, but I see now. Difficult as it may be that there is darkness amidst the nobility. Your silver tongue will not turn us against one another. Is this how you and your deployable companions lied and deceived Abathus to his untimely death? Deplorable. Listen here, you mooch. And you, how dare you intervene? The infamous dockside arsonist himself. I knew you from the posters immediately. He burned two boats laden with the king's taxes. Oh no, Evan. Only well, looks like the famous arsonist, but it's a complete misidentification. He just has that kind of face. Leandra smiles reassuredly, but sneaks a questioning glance at Evan. Seize them, men. Dead or alive. Block their escape. Let none pass. Well, that's not nice. Why are we inside of this crypt? Well, fine then. If you want to fight, then a fight we shall have. Huh? I found them. Okay. Rita. Come here, girl. I'm pretty sure this will land on your head. Yep. That's what I thought. Rita, you're not done yet. Sorry. Hmm, they can probably stun him by kicking that. So let's stun this guy. <laughs> no, no, still not done. Such a busted ability. Two AP! Oh my, we sent him so through a wall. Um, okay, I was like, is it gonna fall or is it just gonna be... Uh. Alright, you can move to here and maybe do something. Can't topple that over because we have no sight. I mean, we can push him backwards, but what does that really do for us? Not a lot of options here. I will try. It worked. Cool. Do you mind bolstering? And then we can chill. Oh yeah, when they move, they get hurt now. That's right. This wizard needs to be dealt with. Krita. My darling. We have a wizard that is causing problems. Thank you. No longer does he cause problems. And let's just grapple this guy into that. Six health? What are you doing with six health over there? That's a little rude. 
You know she can't do that much damage. Well, she can, but... Okay, fine, she can. I'm a liar. I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a straight-up liar. It's fine. Alright, let's get behind this. Oh, well, I didn't expect that movement to activate, but whatever, it did. Come forward, nerds. Blinded, minus 5 HP. Rip. Hi! Also, hello. Bonjour! Hmm. You need to dip, my friend. Twenty-nine percent. I will take the hundred percent chance then, I guess. Perfect. You're gorgeous. Let no one tell you differently. Boop. Seventy-seven percent chance to kick that. Interesting. Step one. Absorb HP, please. Nice. Nice. What do you got for me? 54%? 19%? Alright, well, it looks like the priest is going to get to do whatever he wants. Why stun when you can kill? Yes, yes, Overwatch. Are you the one with the dodge to the Overwatches now? I think you are. More time we spend here, Garbarok move far away. Galilarn, open your eyes. You keep us from a noble mission of stopping the goblin who, by orders of your lady, assaulted our kingdom. Your soil, our good lady's name, with your blasphemous tongue. Do you not think we have no, not noticed your sacrilegious ways before? Your choice of companions is only one. The gods' ways are open to interpretation, brother. Please, for instance, at times stale bread is better if accompanied with brother... Sacrilege. There is... That is where sloth begins. And soon you, you will sleep on surfaces other than cold floors as the gods meant you to. Solaris glances guiltily at the bedroll peeking from his backpack. Uh, never, brother, I implore you. Implore all you wish. My faith is not so weak as yours, and I'll listen to you no farther. A large skeleton trapped in a cage stares at the exchange with open interest and emphatic look in his eyes. Yish, family, huh? You can speak? I would like to think so. Hey, you seem to be in a bad spot. Why don't you release me and I'll help you leave this place? Okay. Sure, I'm sure we can trust you. Well, I mean, if we're already up here, we might as well get closer. Um, well, these will just outright kill you. So, yeah, we'll just outright kill you, I guess. I, I don't know. Here, you can... Yeah, sure. Oh, you can walk up and kill this guy, I guess. It's fine. Good job. You did great. You leveled up even. That's fantastic. Um, healing Aura has no range limit. Give it to me. Alright, what you got for me, bud? Any easy stuns? I don't want to run him that far forward. I'll try to move him here and see what he's got. I mean, that might pull him off far enough. Nope. No, it did not. You miss your 73 percentages is way too much, and that's annoying. Okay, he's gonna die. Thank you, Krita. At least somebody knows what they're doing here. Okay, I was like, 
why is it not like laid up? And then I was like, oh, incapacity target reducing its like, extra points by one. Okay, cool. Rita's about to get two kills unless she gets stoned. Nice Overwatch. No! Oh, he missed his 78%. Wizards are bad. Here, let this guy out. Thank you, heroes. Now we may travel together. The heroes ponder this for a time. All in favor of destroying the talking skeleton? Smite him! Smite him. Smite them. All opposed? Smite and loot him. Hold on a moment. I may help you. You seek an unliving army. Yes, I know where they have gone. Why are there so many empty graves? There should be dozens of unliving. The scepter commands us to go from this place. I could tell you where the others have gone and perhaps lend all my all-powerful help, but only if I have your word I will not be slain. The party huddles and deliberates for a while in hushed tones. The occasional undead monstrosity, studyable specimen, and sick of ambushes can be overheard. Finally, the party reaches a decision. You can come with us, and we won't destroy you for now. If your information is useful and accurate, so where are the residents of the script? Wonderful. The unliving are headed towards the nearby human village. The village? Why are they going to the village? Siren shrugs. The voice calls to us, and we follow. Those not locked in a cage, at least. We gotta get rid of this damn paladin and get here as fast as we can. I thought you not care. Evan responds sharply, of course I don't, but even those dullers don't deserve to die after being abandoned by everybody. Yeah. Agreed. I wonder if I can kick this from here. Ha ha ha! Those move too, so it doesn't matter. Oh, well, we went too far. Reverse! Reverse! I know if we move him that far up, we're gonna activate another one, so I'm trying to wait. I don't want to quite activate another group yet. I wonder what that's all about. Hey, don't miss. You're the greatest. He used his uh, wind, so he shouldn't be able to use it again. Oh, we're out of range. Ooh. Can you see him from over here? Oh, why? You have abilities too, and you're also a mage. Well, that does move, apparently, so that's cool. Alright. Siren. See how good you are. You're better than the other mages. <laughs> it is tornado. That automatically makes them better. All right. Looks like they're gonna want us to activate another group here. So let's go ahead and see what they have to for us to fight now. All right. Get in there, bud. Uh -huh. The final group. The final group, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, let's uh, see if you can stop that guy from moving. Amazing! You are amazing! <clears throat> 27 percent chance, or 91 percent chance. I love that grapple ignores cover. It's incredible. Alright, Krita, take him out. You got anything to do this far up? Can we slow him down? Seems like a an idea. Right. Oh, I forgot about Siren. Oh well. Next time, next time. Throwing a rock at me. Uh, that's a no no. That will be interrupted, I think. All right, Evan. 
can't just let this man do whatever he wants. Thank you, Evan. Oh my. Your time comes. Good job. He's dead. Can you not move? You can't move. Of course you can't. Well, rally! You got people to take care of, m'lady. I'd like you to go around him. There has to be a way to get that to happen, right? Like... If only I could get you to go there. But I don't know how. Unfortunately. Alright, well you're gonna have a straight up battle with him then. That's fine, I'm sure you can win this, Greta. Well, you missed once, that's unfortunate, but hey, whatever. You're doing nothing. You're gonna come forward. Hmm. Look at you hitting like all your shots, bud. You're so good at the game. That was a little bit rude. Krita, he dare hits you? You make him go to sleep. Galalorn draws his last breath. Ah, my service <coughs> ends. And just a worthy death battling evil. Farewell, Solaris. May some other slay you. <coughs> or you perform too many wrongdoings. Solaris pauses for a time to collect his thoughts. There is no need for blood to be spilled this day, and yet he would not stop. Am I, too, as blindly devoted as he? The question hangs in the air as the party exchanges awkward glances. We're sorry for your loss, Solaris. He sought only what's right, justice. For some to pay for some to pay for his grievances. How is it different from what we desire? We're thinking for ourselves, not following blind leaders who don't know what they're talking about. Thought you, though you detest it, following is a thing fit for some, but perhaps there is wisdom to your words as well. Solaris turns to Galilorn's body. Goodbye, Galilorn. You held your, to your convictions till the very end. Party is silent for a time. Are we searching his pockets now, or do you want to turn around first? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> time to loot. Get the loots. Don't let him go waste. Solaris nods in Siren's direction. So what of this foul thing? Foul? I rinse my bones twice a day. It is you who oozes filthy water. Unholy, then. Agreed. <laughs> now, let's hurry and destroy Gabarok. How do you know we're going after Gabarok? I have ears, or temporal bones at least. Well, we ain't going anywhere until we save the village from the missing undead. What's Gabarok to you anyway? He possesses the artifact that disturbs my brothers and sisters eternal slumber and directs us to the village. Solaris gasps. The goblin. He is in the village behind the risings of the dead? Of course, he possesses the scepter. Why do you pursue him if not for that? We knew something was up, but not that it was him. We have to stop him. We have to have a look at that scepter. Yeah, but the village first. There may be a bunch of worthless, dim-witted sheep, but even they don't deserve this. Solaris nods his approval. Let's be quick about it then. The goblin is our real goal. Yeah, but like, there's still like a little bit of extra stuff to get, you know? Here, you know, in case you go into battle anytime soon. Like, there's still, like, you know, like, there's, like, the, the, that armor down there, and, like, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it's not, like, 100% time to go yet. Also, they took over my freaking, never mind, it's time to go, they took over my gosh dang castle. That's a rough battle, though. I don't know, let's level up a little bit here. That's kind of a rough battle. <clears throat> All right, what you got for me, skeleton archers? Well, we know you're going to run forward and probably put the boot to this guy and reveal the rest of them for me. Thank you. No, no, still want Krita because this move is too incredible to not use. Okay. 
Well. Where can you get to? You can get to there? Alright, boot him. Das boot! Good, good. Let's see if you can do anything worthwhile here. You did okay. It was not bad, at least. That's for sure. Have you move up more, because everybody's stunned, so there's nothing to be scared of. <clears throat> and start working on their health. Beautiful. You really gonna run away? Pansy. See ya. Nine health left back there, huh? Ooh, double kill. She's so good. Level up. The mage is healed by the total amount of- oh wow. Or, fires magic area a single target, damaging and crippling it. Uh, we want that. Let's get our giant heal on. Okay. Well, you can get next to him, and I guess you can use the dark ritual. We might as well, right? Hey, you can get next to him, too. Give him another action. And see you later. Good night, sweet prince. A ranking. We're basically the greatest players in the world. Basically. I mean, pretty close. Uh, plus three max health immunity to the burning effect. More. Sorry, Evan. I kind of want the melee units to have the armor and stuff. I think we got time for one more this episode. It's pretty close. We might as well squeeze it in there. It might go a little bit over time, but you know, whatever. If it goes a little couple minute, minute over, minute two over, should be okay. Greta. I need you to run forward. Yeah, I was like, you should be fine. Good job, you found them. Stunded. No, no, she's not quite done. I don't think I'm just gonna walk up and have her kill this guy. No, no, not done. Thank you. Looks like we can get a double stun here. If we're lucky. We were lucky. I mean, luck, skill, really. Which one is it? Who really knows? Um, step one. Solid hit. So much damage. Alright, now I'm gonna have you try not to miss this if you don't mind. Thank you! Triple kill. Good job. You're cute. Good night, sweet prince! You're about to level up. Let's see if we can get you a level. Yeah, I didn't think that would level him, but, you know. We tried. I misclicked. Uh, Krita, go kill that. Alright, guys. And I think with that battle, that is going to do it for this episode of Fort Triumph. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. Helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Always XP. Peace.